Hey guys, good morning. Fine. My name is Ankit Bhani and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can create your custom setup for video editing. Let's say you have a laptop and which works pretty slow even with normal applications. You're not doing any video editing. Forget about video editing. And let's say you're using some normal application and your laptop starts and laptop hangs a lot. Each time you reboot, it takes a lot of time. Obviously, in this case, you can purchase a new laptop with good configuration, but you don't want to spend your money on a laptop. You already have a laptop. You just want to upgrade your laptop so that you can set it up for video editing so i have a solution for you all and i'm going to show you everything from start to end step by step on how you can create your custom setup for editing so let's start it now the first step you should know what makes your laptop work faster or slower there are mainly four things first is cpu second is ram third is disk and fourth is graphic card now let me give you a little bit of info on what is the minimum and the maximum you need for a laptop so the minimum for cpu is i3 as the minimum processor and you can go till i9 as a processor which is very fast but i3 is good enough now the second thing is ram you need at least 4 gig of ram in your laptop and the max you can go around 64 gig of ram that will be like very good ram but you can start with 4 gig of ram now the third thing is the disk the laptop comes generally with normal hard disk which is very very slow but the good laptop comes with ssd which are very fast in this case there is no minimum or maximum space you need but what is the type of disk you're using that is going to affect the performance of your laptop with the normal HDD the performance will be very poor with SSD the performance will be very very good now the last thing is the graphic card the minimum you need is 2 gig of graphic card and the max you can go about 24 gig of graphic card I saw a few laptop coming with 24 gig it's like a lot you don't need that much trust me unless you have a lot of money to spend or you're just doing some crazy 3d after effects trust me you don't need it 2 or 4 gig is enough to start with the basic editing setup now the second step is you should know what are the things that you need to upgrade in your laptop there are mainly two things you need to upgrade the first is ram and second is disk that's it you cannot upgrade your processor or you no need to upgrade your graphic card or it will be really difficult to use external graphic card so there are two things which i'll show you how to upgrade now let me tell you about which laptop i am using i have two laptops first is dell xps 15 9560 which is a really good laptop and the configuration is 16 gig of ram i is the processor 500 gig of ssd and 4 gig of graphic card this is a really good configuration and i don't need to upgrade anything but it comes with a lot of money and i have another laptop which i need to upgrade because it's very slow the configuration is i3 as the processor 4 gig of ram internal hard disk not ssd as 500 gig of internal hdd and 2 gig of graphic card now we're gonna upgrade the ram and the disk because the laptop is really really slow forget about video editing in general this laptop is really really slow so i'm going to upgrade the ram and the disk in this laptop so that we should be able to use this for video editing now the next step is to upgrade the ram in your laptop which is pretty easy to do you only need to keep two things in mind first thing to check for is a ddr3 or ddr4 and second is the frequency of the ram so in my case it was ddr4 and 2400 megahertz frequency so i've ordered this 8 gig of ddr4 ram now remember every laptop has two slots the first is already filled with a 4 gig of ram and second i ordered this 8 gig of ram so now i have 12 gig of ram which is pretty good for any laptop for any video editing trust me once you upgrade with 8 gig of ram your laptop will start working very fast but you will still need to upgrade your laptop with ssd let me tell you why now let's say a 4 gig of ram once this ram will be full your windows will start doing read and write from the disk and you have internal HDD, which is very, very slow. So that's why your laptop becomes very slow because it's doing the read and write from the disk. Now, once you upgrade with 8 gig of RAM, now you have total of 12 gig of RAM, which your computer will take a lot of time to fill this RAM so that your laptop will perform better. But let's say you start doing video editing and you're using a lot of apps, then you need to upgrade your disk with SSD because after some time your RAM will get full again you will start doing the read and write from the disk and again your laptop will become very slow now the next step is to upgrade the disk with the ssd i would highly suggest you to go with at least a minimum of 250 gig of ssd i have purchased this 500 gig of samsung 850 evo ssd which is really really good trust me it's really good you can go with this one now to upgrade with ssd you only need to do one thing you just need to clone the disk from hdd to ssd your SDD will have all the operating system, all the files in the disk. You just need to transfer all these files into SSD. How you will do that? It's pretty simple. You just need to download one software, mini tool software. It's free software. You can just download this software and you can install this one. Once you install the software and you will open the software, you will see that one option migrate OS. 
with this option you can just migrate the disk you don't need to install the operating system or anything you will not lose any file on this new ssd everything will be just copied from this disk to ssd now to connect the ssd with your laptop you need to purchase external usb casing so that you can insert your ssd into the casing and you can connect via usb once you will connect with the usb your windows will detect so does this mini tool software and you will see this option of disk too now you just have to select this disk and you have to just apply and it will ask that you have to close some application to do that hit ok and now it will transfer all the files from hdd to ssd after some time it will ask again that you need to reboot the system to do that you have to press just ok and now at the time of reboot it will transfer all of the files from this hdd to ssd it will do the job automatically you don't need to do anything and now your ssd is ready as well now the last step is just to open up your laptop and put this ram inside the slot 2 and replace the hdd with the new ssd now in my case it was pretty simple i just opened up my laptop and replaced these two things on my own in your case you just have to search on youtube how to replace in your particular laptop and if you're not able to do it on your own you just reach out to some local computer shop and ask them to just replace these two things they'll just charge you 400 to 500 rupees and they'll do the job for you and that will be it that's it your laptop is ready you can use it for video editing you can use it for anything it'll work very smoothly trust me just try it out i have done it and i'm using it and it's really good so guys i hope this video really helped you and if you have any question ask me in the comments below i'll reply to all of your comments and with that said guys epidemic sound is giving away three months free music just use my code go to the link in the description and just sign up and use my code you will just get three months free music it's valid till 2nd fab 2020 just try it out so guys that's it from the video hit a like button if you have watched the video till now subscribe for future videos and hit the bell notification icon as well so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video with that said guys i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye